Hello, gracious viewers. Welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants, and our Stop Animal Cruelty series. During this time of year, Thanksgiving season begins in the United States. Traditionally a holiday celebrated with family in gratitude for God's gifts. It is unfortunate that many animal friends must suffer, the most being the sweet-natured, intelligent turkey. 300 million sentient, inquisitive turkeys brutally slaughtered yearly for meat in the US alone, including 46 million for Thanksgiving. In the only written eyewitness account of the Pilgrim's first Thanksgiving dinner in 1621, Massachusetts colonist Edward Winslow wrote to his friend in England about the feast's menu and did not once mention that turkey was served. Some sources even suggest that the event was not in fact the first Thanksgiving, as the Pilgrims were religious, pious people who would have instead given thanks through prayer and fasting. Scientific studies have been conducted on turkeys and their emotional and mental lives. Dr. Ian Duncan, a poultry specialist at the University of Guelph in Ontario, Canada states, turkeys possess marked intelligence as revealed by such behavioral indices as their complex social relationships and their many different methods of communicating with each other, both visual and vocal. Poultry science professor Dr. Tom Savage of Oregon State University in the U.S. says, I've always viewed turkeys as smart animals with personality and character and keen awareness of their surroundings. One particular emotional behavior that shows turkeys overwhelming loyalty is known as the Great Wake, an exhibition of sorrow for an injured or dying fellow bird. Turkey parents are also extremely loving and doting toward their young. Wild turkeys used to be widespread in the southern U.S., with tens of millions roaming about in nature. Nowadays, to keep up with the excessive demand for turkey meat, the industry uses factory farming methods to raise the birds in confined and inhumane conditions. Let's now look at the torturous life of turkeys raised to be killed for human consumption. At Thanksgiving, 95% of Americans eat turkey meat and in order to supply the enormous numbers of animals required, factory farms start preparing in May by putting millions of turkey eggs into incubators. Chicks are produced en masse by painful artificial insemination of females. First, a male, called a stag, is milked three times a week for his semen, causing undue stress to the bird. The female is then caught and hung upside down, at which point she has a hypodermic syringe forced into a reproductive system and then the semen is injected. Artificial insemination is emotionally and physically distressing and often causes the spread of diseases such as foul cholera. After the eggs are produced, they are kept in metal hatcheries where they are incubated for approximately 28 days until the chicks emerge. These babies never feel the warmth of their mothers and those that hatch early must wait up to three days without food or water until they are processed. Once the babies are hatched, they are tossed into plastic trays like inanimate objects. The trays are then placed into a sorting machine, which separates the broken eggshells from the chicks. The machine flips the tray upside down as the chicks fall onto the sorter. Then the eggshells are dumped into a bin, and inevitably some chicks end up being dumped into the bin as well. Even worse, some turkey babies get caught up in the metal mechanism of the sorting machine and are subsequently crushed to death or torn apart, dying slow and excruciating deaths. Chicks not fully hatched but still alive are disposed of in bins called hatch debris. Injured chicks are also dumped alive along with the eggshell waste. Over the next few days, the chicks are prepared for rearing as meat. 
first they have their toes removed to prevent them from scratching at other turkeys in their highly cramped and stressful environment. In nature, these animals are very gentle and never harm other birds. To remove the toes, they are either cut off with scissors or the tips are microwaved. The microwaves kill the tissue and the toes eventually shrivel and fall off. Next, the chicks are de-beaked. That is, they will have the top third of their very sensitive beaks removed. The usual methods for this include the use of an intense infrared heat source or a red-hot knife that slices through the beak, or sometimes clippers are used to manually snip off the beak. Debeaking may have to be repeated when the bird is 14 to 18 weeks old, as the beaks usually grow back. A study conducted by Dr. Michael Gentle and published in the Journal of Applied Animal Behavioral Science observed that debeaked birds show behavior associated with long-term chronic pain and depression, including phantom limb pain found in human amputees. A final and equally savage procedure is called desnooding. Here, the snood or fleshy part of the male turkey arising from the forehead and hanging over the beak is typically ripped off with no equipment or surgical tools. All of these procedures are carried out by non-medical staff without the use of anesthetics or painkillers. These cruel acts are done to reduce stress-induced cannibalism caused by the frustrating conditions imposed on these caring animals. A small number of sample chicks are sent for quality assurance testing. They are thrown live into plastic bags tied at the top. The chicks then gasp for air and slowly suffocate before being collected for transport to the laboratory. This treatment is definitely not in keeping with the spirit of Thanksgiving. When Animal World, our co-inhabitants, returns, we will continue our investigation into the cruel plight of the loyal turkey.